built up to a semi heavy deadlift. Now we're doing sets 5 to 315. Then we got a Metcon after. I'm partnering up with uh, Alex. He's going to coach and do the workout. Alex is explaining it. You don't get rollover cows or uh, meters. So when it gets to 250 or 200, menu, get off. Person gets on, just row, start rowing. If we're partners, you can't touch the handle until I've got this stone above my waist. Now you can start rowing. I can't do this, I can't readjust it. I gotta stand with it above my waist and just stand here while they row, okay? 250, 250 meters. So the faster I row, the quicker he puts down the bag, and the faster he rows, the quicker I put down the bag. Five rounds. I think we can win. We have the 200 pound bag. It's supposed to be 150. Did Alex carry the team there? I was running like a 134 pace. He's probably around like a 120, 118. He was eliminating precious. He was eliminating precious seconds of me carrying that back. That was good. We'll go get his post game. The sandbag, of course. Hard spark. That was awkward. Can we moved to the 200 pound sandbag. Not, nah, not fun. Steven, how you doing? Not well. Should have picked part with a better rower. Yeah, you were, what were you rowing? 115. 115. I was wrong. I said he was rowing a 118. He was rowing a 115. That's impressive. Probably you're not wearing the right boots for it. Yeah. Rowing, rowing shoes. You may watch the game sometimes. You see them just like holding a dead weight and just being like, well, it's just X amount of pounds. You just stand there. It just crushes you. Holy heck. You can't stand like straight out with your legs locked. Like it's way too hard. You can't bend them too much because you can't have the sandbag on your legs supporting the bag. That was, that was hard. Three days later. I'm going to work out with Alex, and you'll be shocked. I'm early this morning. I'm trying out a new camera, DJI Pocket. It's aimed a little low, which is a little odd. Wrong direction. See, I can control it on my iPhone. But, I don't know. I'm worried about the sound quality. We'll see about that. But, to make sure I'm still on time, we need to get going. For the first time in probably two months, three months, I am on time. Except my partner isn't. Alex, tisk tisk. My fully. There we go. And per usual, I'm already drenched in sweat. So I was early in the class, Alex was late, so I've got a new partner. This is Omar, everybody. We'll do a proper introduction afterwards. Omar's a great guy, very fit. Kick this workout's butt with Omar, and then we'll get the day going. Alex is on another team, and so is Auntie. I want to beat him, so we're going to push. You ain't first, you're last.
That was very tough. Omar is a hoss. Stamina through the roof. On the first round, he was starting each round a 50. So he was starting on 10 and I would do 10. So like the whole first round, he did more reps than me. And then I think coming home, he still did more reps than me. Friggin', and then on the run, the 800 run, way ahead of me. This guy's a tank. The hardest part, honestly, was probably the back squats coming home. Those were those were gritty, but you like you didn't want to put down the bar because it was light enough, but it still hurt. It still hurt. We're gonna get Omar's post game now. We'll give a quick introduction of what he does. So let's cut over to Omar. All right, so you got to give your post game, and then you got to give a brief rundown of who who is Omar. Oh, uh, it was a f***ing beast. Uh, heavy. Had to have good endurance, pace yourself properly. It's a long water ended up being 40 minutes. Uh, but it's good to have a partner and have a consistent routine from the beginning and have a plan and stick to the plan. And that's what we did, training off the reps. We had to modify uh, midway, but communicated and it, it all worked out. And we, we survived, thank God. <laughs> oh, I'm a corporate restructuring lawyer. I've been a partner at a law firm for 20 years. Oh gosh, this is probably my fifth or sixth year. I was at another place six weeks, six months before that, but this is home now. I've been here about, I've been here about five, six years. There you go, Mark. Thanks. All right, more post game. The hardest thing I did today was pick Mike. Dude, that guy was running, I was trudging up the hill. I couldn't bring and run, so he got back in here. Probably, probably rounded the corners a little bit. He started working a little before I got back, but it helped me out a ton. So he was a beast. Hey, that was rough. That was rough. What's wrong with us? Why do we do these things? Something's know, wrong with us. I don't know. Man. You got to give an introduction to the block. Where are you? I'm Mike Atwater. I'm somewhat new to CrossFit, but I'm trying to figure it out. It does not show. I think this man did all 200 hand release push ups. He's an animal. We're going to get Auntie's post game. He hasn't been in the vlog in a while. He's abandoned us for a little bit. Auntie, where have you been and how was that workout? Back in Finland. Well, family time. Let's get much cooler down here. This workout, sweating. It's so humid outside. It's just like come back to the wall balls. Balls are slipping through your hands. You're like, okay. Let's just sing also wall balls. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. You, you guys killed it. All right, let's see what kind of shit talk Alex has. He was supposed to be my partner and I was on time. However, he wasn't, so I switched to Omar. Let's get Alex's post game here. That was a, that was a grave tactical error I've made. What did you do? Started out doing the 40s instead of 50s. 14, 13, 13. Well, you did all the reps? Started out doing 40 instead of 50. Oh, okay, sorry. And then did the run, 100 push ups, the run, and came back, and I was like, no way. We're doing 15 and 15 to 30. Bro, that was probably the slowest, probably the slowest 30 deadlifts of my life after those wall balls. That was brutal. That was brutal. I was telling these guys that the first time I'm early to a class, you're, you weren't here. I'm not late. It's my gym, it's my workout. Y'all don't start till I get here. And y'all are just early. Problem with everybody else, you gotta warm up. Alright, I don't need warm up. I stay warm, so I don't have to get warm. Let's see how many people think Alex has a fat dip in right now. <laughs> Is that just gum? Come on! This is Theo, and that's Oliver. Theo's a little rambunctious. That's the end of this one. We had some good workouts, some good times as always at D-Town. We have the Waco CrossFit competition in two weeks. That'll come up quick. And yeah, that is it. That is it for this video. The folks out there were doing some like necklace um, uh, modeling. I should have offered my, my ridiculous good looks. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? Probably not. Or not! <laughs>